Hi, I'm Marshall. I'm the owner of Going Gear, and this is a quick and dirty review of the Spark SF3 and SF5 flashlights. All right, here we have the Spark SF3 and SF5. So the SF3 is the one that's powered by CR123s or RCR123s, 380 lumens on max output, all the way down to one lumen with some other outputs in between. SF5 is double A's or 14500 lithium ion batteries, 280 lumens on max output, all the way down to one lumen with a bunch of other modes in between. So the stuff that it comes with, obviously with the pocket clip, because that's on the SF3, SF5 comes with it as well. It's a nice pocket clip, holds on there really well. This is actually my EDC flashlight, this unit right here. It's the SF3 uh, neutral white. I really like it, nice little light, looks cool, good output and everything, and uh, nice interface on it. Some other stuff that you have, so you actually have another reflector piece in here. Well, it's sort of a reflector. This is actually pure flood. You can see there's no reflector down in there. It just takes and makes a huge, just completely diffused beam. We'll uh, show you that better when we go outside. Also comes in a nice little felt case, and of course your user manual as well. So I already have batteries in both of these. Let's go ahead and take a little bit closer look at them. Just so you can see, you got that carbon fiber over the uh, battery tube, which is kind of cool. Recessed side switch. There's the LED down in there, Cree XML2 in both of these with that lightly orange peeled reflector. A little bit of a stainless steel in there to help to protect it from impacts. There it is on the back. Okay, so the interface on these. If you tap the switch, it'll turn the light on. When you have it on, if you press and hold, it'll cycle through your different outputs. You just let go when you see the one that you like. Double click from on or off and it'll go right to the max output. And it still has the mode memory, so if you turn it back on, it's going to go back into whatever regular output you had it in last. And you can double click to get right back to the max output. Same exact interface on the SF3. So what we're going to go ahead and do is take both of these outside, and we'll show you how they do outside. Alright, I'm outside with the Spark SF3 and SF5. Let's go ahead and try out the SF5 first, the AA light. Make sure it's on the highest output. So that uh, little tree right there is 25 feet. Dock house down there on the lake's about 100 feet away. We'll zoom in, you can see how well that's lit up. So, it's not a super bright 5000 lumen light, but this thing is compact, fits in your pocket, runs off of a single AA battery. So still pretty good output for such a small light, especially considering the battery source. And then you have the other outputs, the super low when you need it, and you can crank it up to the higher ones when you need them. Then you have the same thing with the SF3. So here's the SF3, 25 feet, 100 feet, you can see that higher output, what the difference makes. And then we'll do them side by side. Actually, we'll crank through the different levels of the SF3 real quick. Okay, let's get that on the max output. So SF3 on the right, SF5 is on the left. Kind of sh shine them back and forth so you can quickly see the difference between the two. Let me show you what that non-reflector looks like real quick. All right, I have that non-reflector on the SF3. Show you what it looks like. So this is just going to be pure, wide open area illumination. Not going to give you any distance, but I find this really useful. You know, lighting up a room or lighting up a building or anything like that, it's great for stuff like that. So anyway, there you go. That's the Spark SF3 and SF5. If you like them, you can buy them from us at goinggear.com. If you want to see a much more in-depth video, we uh, show you the difference between cool white and neutral white and the different options and talk about some more stuff in depth. Uh, check out the link in the description. I've got a link in there to a more in-depth video. And that's it. Thanks for watching.